Join me, addict to athlete, on my first bike packing adventure as we head from North Devon all the way to Plymouth on Devon's south coast. We'll be cycling over 100 kilometres using the Tarka Trail and Granite Way before we head on to Dartmoor. From there, we'll climb endless hills to Princetown and finally ascend off road onto Leaven Tour, where we'll be camping for the night. You'll see amazing wildlife, beautiful scenery, as I try to survive in huge gusts and near freezing temps. just past Insta, coming up to Biddeford now, and then a long route all the way to Dartmoor. Yeah, I think that's a heron down there, and a little egret as well. But I can't really tell with the quality of this phone, so just about see it. It's absolutely beautiful here. Yeah. Yeah, so I know I haven't filmed for a while, but last year when I started doing it, I got a new job as well to start doing all the cycling. I was trying to do a full training week, and it just got a bit too much really, so uh, hopefully we can start getting some some occasional vids out. I've got a few things planned, so yeah, see how it goes. Woohoo! Oh yes! Oh, look at that. Nice one, thank you. I'm pretty sure that road on the right there is where, where we did the, uh, the Biddeford Half Marathon. We actually came back this way, I think, on the Tark Trail. We started on the road up there. There's a deer just there. Ah, oh, it's gone. Ah, oh, I scared it. So, We've been, been on the trail for like an hour and we've seen a heron, a little egret and a deer. How cool is that? Well, I was going to be stopping here for something to eat, but it's like it's all shut. So I'm going to find a little spot up here, have some bite to eat and then carry on, I think. Well, I found a nice spot to, uh, to have a bite to eat, but there's one problem. I've got to share it with this pair. How weird is that? <laughs> that is strange. This one, look. Her head's nearly flipping come off. But yeah, I have been training even though I haven't been uh, filming. Um, the two triathlons, did quite a few trail races, the two of them or three of them, I can't remember now. Um, and then uh, I was gonna do another one, but they got canceled, but yeah. Hopefully this year we'll have a few more events on the calendar, maybe some different ones. The route that I'm actually on now, there's a, there's this bike cafe in Plymouth and they do a Devon coast to coast from Plymouth to Ilfracombe, there and back overnight and it's a bit of a race. So obviously take your breaks, don't take your breaks, whatever, but it's going to catch up to you. So yeah, I'm thinking about doing that one maybe next year. Well, we just finished the swamp section at Meath Quarry. I didn't realise it was going to be that bad. Video don't really do it justice, but you come over that hill there and you just open up to this. Well, just less than four hours in, we got to Oakhampton now. We have a bit of a break, some cheese twists, resupply, got some water to top up, so I'll to do some cooking later. Yeah. See how it goes. That's a bit rough here. Jeez. Oh, you wouldn't want to ride bike on this, would you? Mind your head.
Oh yeah, you come through. <laughs> I know, I was going to say, you wouldn't want a road bike along there. <laughs> I'm surprised we shouldn't get a puncture on there. Oh, we come to Ben's ponds. Look at the quality, the clearness of this water. That's awesome. I got so covered in mud. Along that Meath Quarry section, I'm going to quickly wash my hands and give my face a quick scrub. So we're 70 kilometres in now, and let me check my watch. Just about five hours. I'd say I've probably lost about 45 minutes to an hour with the uh, section through Haverley. But now we're back on the granite way, it's been really good. So one thing that uh, it's got crazy windy and a bit chilly down this way. I have to put my coat back on and get my snood on. But the uh, the Devon regions on a commute because uh, I've had no signal for about three hours now and it's uh, proved a good purchase because I can get offline maps when you pay for the regions you can get offline maps you have to stay relatively close to the route but um, yeah it's really good I really recommend it it's a pretty cool spot there's a hell of a drop down there though Seen all sorts since coming to the moors now. Seen horses, but these sheep is there. Scared. Oh, it's got horns, look. No signal now for 30 miles since Haverley. So I just got to uh, Peter Tavi River. That was a really nice shop just up the road, so I managed to get a nice resupply. I'm gonna stop for so a bite to eat here. And then we're not far from the campsite now. So yeah, let's have some food. Love that sound of the water. You've got hills, descents, more hills, parts where you have to walk, more hills. Hard, oh, isn't it? Well, we got to Princetown, but still got no signal. 
and it's going to be a bit of a pain going back up to the campsite so there's actually another spot just south of Prince Town where you can actually still legally camp so we're going to go and do that one instead. Battle the wind to get the tent up. Oh, it's quite difficult, <laughs> but we've done it. I feel like flipping Samwise, whatever he's called, of Lord of the Rings, stocking up cheese twists. I bought three cheese twists in Oakhampton. I've still got like one and a half left. This is why you get a two person one. All of your gear just takes up all of your tent. So I've got my mat behind me, sleeping bag ready to set up, cooking pot for later. We've got all day breakfast for tomorrow. Um, half a sausage roll. See, I'm just stockpiling. Every time I've been going to a shop, I've been like, right, just in case, stock up. I'm not even hungry. I've done like seven hours of cycling. I'm not even hungry. Been fueling well through the day. That's what it's about. Those are really good, getting for about £2.50. And then you get little fuel things from Fire Dragon. These are the same people that do the stove. You can fit three different ones in there. Comes with these as well, you put it in for the, uh, the wind protection. I've actually got two stoves, so I can bring two pieces and have the wind, wind protector of both sides. We're gonna do, well, we're gonna try and do uh, teriyaki. Got noodles, got sauce, and we've got some chicken breast to go with it as well. Good thing about these as well, you can actually use them as hand sanitizer. The company that make these, well there was another company that make them, during COVID, they completely switched from making these fuel gels to just doing like hand sanitizer and that sort of thing. It's really similar. Yeah, when I don't do stuff with ring pull nowadays, good job I brought my tin opener. Ugh, that's disgusting. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like broken up bits of chicken breast. How weird that is.
trying to use one of these uh, tour formations as a, as a bit of shelter while I'm doing some cooking. Can't feel any of the wind here at all. I've added the chicken and the teriyaki sauce. That tin chicken does not look good though. But we've got ourselves a makeshift stir fry. Looking good. That actually worked really well. I've not tried that with the, uh, the tin chicken before, but once you break it up, mix it in with the sauce and noodles it's fine it's actually really good a lot of calories too so yeah i'm actually on leaden tour which is behind me just been looking on the uh, the offline map that's uh king's tour or king's hill up there the top of that bit if this one doesn't have a name on the map down here it's going to be getting windy as the night goes on sort of peaking around 10 o'clock tonight so if it does get too bad i'm a few hundred meters away from the road and i can just head on down to plymouth i'm only halfway a half hour away from plymouth now so we've had the uh the wettest march on record i know it's supposed to be boggy anyway but i mean this has been something else we should have bought some different shoes really or spare shoes i uh, was actually supposed to do this trip weeks ago just been put off with bad weather and bad mood, things like that. But finally did it. things I've learned I think from the trip definitely need uh, more points to uh, mount some uh, liquids bottle cages on the bike you can get the handlebar ones that would have been a lot better it's been a hassle trying to carry extra liquids with straps or chucked in the back in the uh, in the rear rack so yeah that's a that's a thought for next time but I've had nothing go wrong mechanically which is really good no problems with the bike there was uh, a few sections where on the, on the hiker bike is that rocky when you're pushing it you can almost hear the chain about to jump off so you just got as long as you take time it should be all right Playing Tetris, so a bit perfectly right in there, isn't it? So, 
So yeah, hopefully start doing uh, more uploads again on YouTube. A bit more free time. Now work's not so much of a hassle. Well, it's still a hassle, but... Yeah, she's stressing me about it at first, trying to keep up with everything, training and filming and working. Yeah. But we're back. We've got some camera equipment. We've got a chest harness. Not that it's any good, as you can tell by the, the cycling videos. But you can always upgrade in the future. It's worth it today. Sun's about to get down. Ready to pack up for the night. Get an early night. Looks like the poltergeist or something. My torch just jiggling around like mental. There's like a ghost in here. I hope this tent lasts. Uh, it's 10 to 6 in the morning. Been uh, up since 5. It's just a bit difficult packing up in the dark. I've got most of it done now. Just got to bag up the tent and then to Plymouth it is. Well, we say goodbye to the moors now. I think I'm about eight miles away from Plymouth. But I'll be coming back this way if they don't let me on the train. So we'll, uh, we'll wait and see, shall we? £32.50 the train. When I looked last week, it cost a fiver if I booked in advance. But I don't know what was going on or what time or the route or anything. So. back in Barnstable. It's a really good ride. Wasn't expecting to get it be so easy to get the trains on the way back. Four different spots it's got. So yeah, we'll see you in the next video. And if you're wondering how I recorded some of these clips, let me just show you how. <laughs>